Lymphocytes and the Immune System by kscience.com Pathogens cause disease. They are viruses, fungi, protists or bacteria. So pathogens, what they do is cause disease. All pathogens have antigens on their surface. Antigens. Keyword here is antigens. Antigens are molecules on the surface of a pathogen. So antigens on the surface of a pathogen are specific to that pathogen. Lymphocytes are white blood cells. They will start producing antibodies specific to the antigens of that one pathogen. So the lymphocytes are going to produce antibodies. So they release the antibodies into the blood. These antibodies are going to bind the antigens of that pathogen. So these antibodies causes the pathogens to, number one, clump together. Number two, the antibodies will kill the pathogens. So they kill the pathogens. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. After the infection and the pathogens have died, the memory lymphocytes and antibodies remain in the blood. So the memory lymphocytes, the memory lymphocytes remain in the blood after the infection and antibodies also both remain in the blood after the infection. So what happens is if you've got a secondary infection of the same pathogen, your memory lymphocytes will react much more quickly now. So the memory lymphocytes will very quickly produce antibodies. They produce antibodies and the antibodies that are in the blood will bind the pathogens. So if there's a secondary infection, no need for activation of lymphocytes. Therefore, the memory lymphocytes are going to produce antibodies more quickly to kill the pathogens before symptoms can take place. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Lymphocytes exist inside the blood, which we've talked about previously. We're now going to talk about phagocytes. What a phagocyte does is it will engulf pathogens. So when there are pathogens that need to be removed from the body, a phagocyte is going to engulf them. It does not do what a lymphocyte does, which produce antibodies. A phagocyte will engulf, not eat the pathogens by phagocytosis. So as you can see, the phagocyte here is engulfing the pathogens, not eating them. Do not write eat. Then the phagocyte will break down and kill the pathogens. A phagocyte, what a phagocyte does is engulfs the pathogens by phagocytosis, it does not eat them. And then it digests and kills the pathogens. Pause the video here to practice using the keywords. The answers will follow. Phagocytes engulf, not to eat, pathogens by phagocytosis. The phagocyte will then digest and kill the pathogen. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow, and if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.